In a brief to the media, Energy Minister Saki Soloma says the agreement signed with FFI in Glasgow is a step taken to harness PNG's potential in the green energy sector. The energy minister says it's simply moving away from the current energy generated option which adds more acid to the atmosphere. Minister Soloma explained this fundamental process. Green energy is basically um, uh, it's about hydroelectricity but this time uh, the new technology that comes about in this particular company, uh, Fortescue uh, Metal Group and the subsidiary company called Fortescue, <coughs> Fortescue Future Industry uh, what they're trying to do is they were going to split water molecule by using the process called electrolysis. So water molecule, the, chemi the uh, chemical name of water, mo water molecule is H2O, and you have a hydrogen element uh, combining with oxygen uh, in a ratio of two hydrogen into one oxygen atom. So using the process of electrolysis, they pass the current into that solution to um, split water molecule, releasing oxygen into the air, mm -hmm. and then trapping, trapping hydrogen and ammonia. The molecule of ammonia is NH4, and the hydrogen is uh, uh, H2 in its molecular form. Yes. So basically, that's the kind of energy we'll be using into the future. Currently, the energy that we are using now in the non-renewable space, mm -hmm. we have uh, uh, diesel and uh, petrol. So diesel and petrol, when it burn in the engine, it produces carbon monoxide. So the carbon monoxide that comes out, it goes up and forms the blanket in the atmosphere, uh, as you all are aware, and, and the effect yes. of it is uh, global warming and we have climate change. With electricity a key legacy issue on the country, the energy minister says feasibility studies will be carried out in selected provinces for projects. He says the option to use green energy is a resolution from the COP26 nations and must be harnessed. Minister Soloma says this will help develop the country and is environmentally friendly. Green energy is basically environmental friendly energy. So in this case, they're splitting water molecule and allow oxygen to escape and then they trap then hydrogen into hydrogen fuel and then ammonia into ammonia fuel so mm. this company that now we are trying to we have signed this master development agreement giving them that green light to invest in our country in uh, using the waters to uh, produce ammonia and hydrogen they are now going into building vehicles engines that will burn hydrogen and ammonia so when hydrogen and ammonia burn or when you put it into a uh, vehicles and when it, it burns, it produces water. So basically, we are splitting water to produce water. So this is where Papua New Guinea is taking the front seat. This is the beauty about us coming here in a lot of uh, signing and uh, meetings uh, uh, that we meet here in Glasgow. This is the highlight that Papua New Guinea is now taking the front seat into yes. green energy space and we will be uh, producing green energy and we'll be selling green energy and then producing a lot of uh, job opportunities for our people and then uh, uh, bringing massive investment into our country. Speaking in Glasgow as well, the Environment Minister says Papua New Guinea is now venturing into becoming a powerhouse and leader in the Pacific. He says this effort will also assist small island nations as well. Minister Morris says green energy is renewable and is the way into the future. The globe will go into green energy. And now we are in the forefront now, and that by the time this project is developed, it's going to produce probably about 20, you know, 23,000 megawatts of uh, power, uh, which some will be used for electrolysis process to convert uh, for basically uh, producing hydrogen and ammonia fuel. But the balance of the fuel uh, for the energy, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, it may be exported to Australia, uh, in the steel industries, and also I'm sure that they've got a very uh, healthy, uh, huge aluminum industry in Australia whereby they can process and refine bauxite to produce aluminum in Australia. So this is you know, a very significant uh, development. Uh, as, we, as our development appetite grows and increases, our quest for energy will also increase. Jack Lapava Jr. National MTV News.